New Orleans Police Department recruits march one by one into a new chapter of their lives. Nervous and excited. That new chapter begins here. With proud families behind them, they are sworn in as NOPD officers after graduating from its 198th recruit class. I grew up in the community. Um, I see how it's transitioning. For 30 weeks, Eugene White and others learned the ropes of law enforcement. Now as an officer, White says he's ready to protect and serve for the city of New Orleans and the ones he loves. I have kids, teenagers that's growing up in the city, and I have little kids that have to grow up. Um, so. I want to do my part. White says he's been manifesting a career in law enforcement for 10 years. Now, after a long career in the trucking business, he joins a police force that's short on manpower. If I don't step up, they continue to be short. So I play my part, step up, and hopefully others follow me and step up also. We're short by several hundred. The department is short-staffed with less than 900 officers. Interim Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick says the new faces on the force come at a much-needed time. To have new people coming in is indeed a morale booster. We're also hiring civilian uh, members to the department. We're going to start kind of having a new approach to policing mm -hmm. where we're going to have a lot of positions civilianized. According to statistics released by the New Orleans Police Department, the violent crime rate has dropped over the past year. Compared to this time in 2022, murder rates dropped 24 percent, assaults dropped 11 percent, and armed robberies dropped 34 percent. Kirkpatrick says the city is going to have to work together to keep those numbers down. The district attorney has a role in this. Our diversion programs have a role. So we're system, but on our part, we're going to be all about the prevention. Preventing crime is something Eugene White has always wanted to do for his city. If we run from the issue, how can we ever solve it? So my goal is to help my brothers and sisters try to figure this problem out. He says he and his fellow graduates are going to hold the fort down in a department that is shorthanded. In New Orleans, Parker Boyd, Fox 8, Local First.